Hey guys, welcome to my new exhibition. It's called Three Spaces and it's being held uh, over the next couple of weeks in my gallery for the Margaret River Region Open Studios event. There's 140 artists around the region and they all open their studios up for people to come and meet them, talk about their work and purchase. So every year we do an exhibition. This one is called Three Spaces and it's a combination of uh, my really dark, gritty landscapes and my light, um, urban, banal stuff. So let's have a look around and I'll show you some of the pieces and maybe talk a little bit about them. pieces in the exhibition and what we've done is we've found we've used our computer and we've gone and looked at the RGB values for colors that are in the image and try to match our wall paint up as closely to that color as possible so hence the the orange wall with the orange picture so this one is called well I never I never named my images but this one is called mullets and masks because um, it's got a security guy in there with a mullet and he's got a mask. So this talks about the time that we're going through. And in, in, you know, in the future when um, we've gone through this terrible period that we're in, um, this will be a, a historical document. A security guy with a mullet and a mask. Interesting. This image I photographed in a junkyard down near Albany, between Albany and Denmark and uh, I just love these old tractors and the character that they have. I mean this one's missing a wheel and um, sort of chopped up. Um, actually I think it's missing both the back wheels but that kind of adds something really nice to the image, makes it a little bit more human maybe, I don't know. Um, so my thoughts were to to photograph these, cut them out from the background because this is a junkyard full of other stuff and then um, place them into other scenes that I'd photographed. So this background was uh, on the road along the way to down to Albany. It was just a field, it was in summer, so there was nothing was green, all, all the crops had been harvested and it was just stubble and just dry earth. So um, that matched the scene perfectly with the beautiful sky. This image of Cuba I really love. I was on a a tour with uh, my good mate Nick Rains. We took a group to Cuba and this was um, Havana and I found it to be one of the most fascinating places. It's obviously fantastic for street photography. Not that I'm actually into it but um, this photograph was taken from the rooftop of the hotel where we were staying and it's a great overview of the city and how the people live um, and yeah uh, if you look deeply into this image, there's so many compositions and so many um, shots that you could get. So much grunge and uh, interest like, in all these street corners. Um, but it, it's really quite sad because uh, um, the people are very poor and 
they um, they don't have much. I mean, and going there as a, a Westerner with just about the ability to do anything, you feel kind of conflicted, um, especially going and photographing these places and how these people live. Um, yeah, I always struggle with that sort of stuff. But but the people were beautiful. Um, it was it was safe. They were friendly. You never felt threatened at all. So yeah, for that reason, it's such a such a great place to photograph. Part of what I love about the urban banal stuff is actually going out and trying and trying to find stuff that uh, we drive drive past all the time. And now this is this was shot in Bustleton, and it was just a um, a group of sh shops, fairly um, average um, building, and. Um, I, as I was driving around to the side, I noticed this repetition of shapes and these different colours, and I thought, well, that's that's quite interesting. I mean, just compositionally, it was, it was nice to look at. These bricks were all red, so just using uh, some simple techniques in Photoshop, I've just changed it from red to pink. Um, these colours were, I, I believe, they were they were actually real. Um, so I wanted to make the pink bricks match the rest of the scene. And then, of course, the, the sky was pretty average, and um, so I put a new sky in, and the palm tree wasn't there. It was somewhere else. I can't remember where I photographed that, but I just put that in for balance because it just needed that palm tree there. Without that, it doesn't look balanced and doesn't look quite as interesting. So this is one of my favourites now, and I, I love this sort of work where you, you're going out and you're finding elements that you composite together to create the scene. And this could, you know, Looks like it was shot in Miami or somewhere like that, but um, no, it was just in the old bustle. So this is another favourite image of mine. This was shot at Yellowstone National Park in America, and I was travelling across America with good mate Tony Hewitt. Uh, we were doing a project for Phase One. Basically, we were allowed to go and photograph anything we wanted along the way, and we didn't do many of the national parks, and um, because we were actually looking for the urban banal stuff. But we went through Yellowstone and did it quite quickly, basically went through in half a day or a day or something like that. And uh, this was at one of the hot springs, uh, thermal pools or whatever you call them, geysers, geysers. Are we geysers? Are they geysers? I don't know. Anyway, um, this is all the smoke coming off those um, bubbling pits of death. And um, we had these really amazing uh, clouds. So in post I made uh, everything kind of dark and brooding and just focused all the light and the attention on the clouds. Yeah, it came up quite nice, it's one of my favourites. And in fact, it's a, I think it's the biggest piece in the whole exhibition. I like it. This is another one of the images I uh, shot at the junkyard. So this canola was in the Midwest. It was probably between Woburn and Karnama, somewhere along there. And I remember this windmill and water tank was really, really quite neat. Um, this tractor was down at the junkyard down near Albany and uh, I decided I was going to composite them together. It was actually orange and I decided to make it um, yellow to match the canola. And I like it. It's in this beautiful Bellini frame that we've been uh, uh, using a bit of uh, in this exhibition. It's really uh, nice handcrafted, handmade expensive, beautiful frame.